Hello there, my name is Janeth Graziani, and today I will demonstrate how to perform customer behavior analysis to identify the most common paths leading to an event. An event or an outcome can be a purchase, a membership cancellation. To perform this analysis, we're going to be using Clearscape Analytics Experience, an amazing online tool that lets anyone experience artificial intelligence, machine learning data, and generative AI applications. Let's get started. To access this demo and others, head on over to teradata.com forward slash experience. Here you will be able to create a free account and sign in. Once you sign in, you will be taken to this interface that makes it super simple to spin up environments on Teradata Vantage Cloud. These environments allow you to experience Teradata's engine for deploying AI ML pipelines. You can create databases and explore the over 150 functions available on Clearscape Analytics. Once your environment is up and running, you can select Run Demos using Jupyter. This will open up a hosted Jupyter environment on a separate tab. Here we will be able to experience Clearscape Analytics experience demonstrations. It's complete with over 80 AI ML demos across different industries, and they include business scenarios, step-by-step -step instructions, sample data, code, and visualizations. For this demonstration, we're going to be working with a demo in the retail industry called Customer Behavior Analysis. Let's select the Python SQL version. Now, this demonstration is showcasing two functions, Sessionize and EnPath function. Our Sessionize function is going to help us prepare our data set for further analysis. It's going to create a unique identifier for every event within a specific time frame. And our EnPath function is going to operate against our sessionized data. It will output a series of events leading to an outcome. Now, EnPath is a very useful function when your goal is to identify the paths that lead to an outcome. And it's used across different industries, including healthcare. You can use EnPath against uh, healthcare records of individual patients to identify any paths that indicate that the patient might end up with a certain uh, condition. You can also use it against online retail on website click data to identify the paths that lead to sales over a specified amount. Now with this quick information on EnPath and Sessionize, let's begin with our step-by-step -step analysis. We first begin by importing the libraries that we need, including Teradata ML. This library allows us to manage and operate on data and perform analytics within Vantage Cloud's massively parallel architecture, enabling us to operate on the data where it resides without having to move it around, making the process efficient and cost effective. We then proceed to establish a connection to our database using the password that we set when we provisioned our environment. Then we proceed to execute the store procedure, which is creating a foreign table to give us access to our data without using any storage in our local environment. Now that we have access to our data, we can create a Teradata ML data frame without having to move data. We'll point to the location of our data. And here we see a preview. We have a retail events a table and a sample preview of the data we're working with. Now, before we dive in to the analysis, let's take a moment to come up with a fictional business scenario for this data. Let's suppose we manage an online trendy home decor store called Home Sweet Home. Our store is facing a challenge. Many of its members are canceling their memberships and as a, re as a result, uh, they are seeing a decline in revenue. Therefore, it's imperative that we understand why our members are canceling their memberships. So we have this data set, which consists of over 35,000 records, and it consists of ended DID, date stamp, and an event row. The event row is the online action that our customers took while on our site. Using this data, we can perform analysis and come up with a targeted strategy to begin identifying why these cancellations are happening. Let's begin with our data preparation. For this, we're going to execute our sessionized function against our retail events table. What this function is going to do, it's going to append a 
column here giving every event a unique identifier within a session. And the session is defined as a sequence of events that happen within a specified period of time per user. So we execute our sessionize function. And as you can see here, we are setting the time frame to 86,400 seconds, which is a 24 hour period. And we're setting our time boundary as our, we're designating, designating our time boundary as our date stamp column. And within seconds, our sessionize function appended this session ID column. For example, here, user with entity ID 1545, let's, let's review user 1578 here. User 1578 had two actions within the same time period. They performed a, policy in, a return policy inquiry and a neutral call within the same session. Now that our data has been sessionized, we can commit it to a permanent table and we proceed to, we are ready to perform analysis. What we're going to do, we are going to execute our empath function against our sessionized events here. And what empath is going to do, it's going to be scanning our entire data set, over 35,000 records, to identify patterns leading to an outcome. And in this specific scenario, we want empath to output the paths where at least two actions and no more than five actions happened before membership memberships were canceled. So we execute our empath against our sessionized data and we wait for Vantage Cloud to process this function. And within seconds, really, we have a result here. The reason why Empath was able to produce this quick result is because it's, it's executing on Vantage Cloud, leveraging its massively parallel architecture and returning these complex analysis within seconds. And here we can see that all of our users now have a, the path that led to the membership cancellation. We can proceed now to aggregate this data and uh, group and sort our data to identify the most uh, common paths leading to a membership cancellation. Doing that might give us a bit more insight on what is happening, why our members are canceling. So let's execute this next cell. We're going to group and sort to identify the most common paths leading to membership cancellations. And here we can immediately see that all of these membership cancellations had a complaint call at the start of their, of, of their journey. Now, with this knowledge, we can actually come up with a targeted strategy to identify why our members are canceling. We can suggest using sentiment and text analysis on the transcripts of these calls to identify what these complaint calls were about and start digging there. And this concludes my demonstration. I have showcased how you can use Sessionize to prepare your data and create unique identifiers for every event within the session given a specific time frame. And then we executed NPath function against our Sessionize data to produce a sequence of events leading to an outcome. Thank you. As you can see, ClearScape Analytics Experience is a very helpful tool when exploring the vast capabilities of Vantage Cloud. I invite you to check out the other demos and start learning artificial intelligence, machine learning data, generative AI applications, and effective data management. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.